Peggy 16. The train bombings, Bazelon, they're connected. Everything's changed. assault team, you've got your snipers out front, and then you have the assault team where we're patrolling to an objective. Point man of the team is typically out front of, you know, five, six, seven, eight man team. Point man's usually in front, team leader's usually behind him. Get to the target, snipers get into position, and then your assaulters move in and actually take down the compound. My point man, usually he'll creep in, see what doors are open or shut, if they need to be breached. Between my point man and the breacher, they'll work out getting in, whether it's explosives or, or bolt cutters or picking the lock or, you know, whatever technique or method they decide to use, they get us into the target. Once we're in, you know, there's really not a lot of direction. I'm not telling people where to go. It's kind of big boy rules. Everybody's been doing this job a long time. There's really no reason for me to tell them what to do enter the compound and everybody starts clearing it. You choose the weapons and the kit you need for the job. Each mission could be different. Sometimes you may want a 10 inch 416 suppressed. Other jobs you might want a 14 inch with a, a scope or a 7.62 or MP7, pistols only. Whatever you want to do, it's mission specific. It's fast paced, it's aggressive, it's not something you can be timid at. It's something guys train years and years and years to get to the point the guys are at at the tier one level. 